I'm Audrey Clement. I'm a nine-year resident of Arlington County with a doctorate in political science and service as a congressional fellow. As a longtime Green Party leader and civic activist, I've worked hard to promote a better quality of life for Arlington residents. As treasurer of the Arlington Coalition for Sensible Transportation, I filed suit in 2009 to compel VDOT to assess alternatives to piecemeal widening of I-66 westbound. In 2008 and 2013, I petitioned to place a referendum on the ballot to consolidate Arlington's housing programs in one agency to leverage more money for affordable housing. I have also lobbied for a ban on plastic bags in supermarkets and chain drug stores and styrofoam in food retail outlets. A ban bag is needed because all the bag tax bills introduced in the General Assembly to date have been defeated. Unlike a bag tax, which requires legislative approval, a, ban bag, a bag ban is legal in Virginia right now because the Virginia Waste Management Review Board calls the shots on waste management reduction me measures, not the legislature. I think Arlington needs a change in leadership because County Board doesn't understand that sustainable growth and so-called smart growth aren't the same. As new office towers go up overnight, employers move into the county spurring demand for housing that drives up rents and real estate assessments and promotes excessive infill development. Nevertheless, County Board <coughs> continues to award developer, developers with more density, 50% more in Crystal City and Pentagon City alone. As a result, the supply of affordable housing in this county has been cut by two-thirds in a decade. This isn't sustainable. To be sustainable, basic public infrastructure must keep pace with new residential and commercial construction. Sustainability also requires the county board to create a housing authority to leverage more money for affordable housing, just like all the other jurisdictions in Northern Virginia. Otherwise, those who move into the county are stuck in a never-ending cycle of tax and rent increases as others are recycled out. To be sustainable, we need to do more than accumulate lead points. We need truly energy efficient buildings and on-site renewable energy. To be sustainable, we must appreciate the difference between needs and wants. We don't need an $80 million aquatic center when Northern Virginia is already drowning in public pools. We don't need a $310 million trolley when bus service can be upgraded at a fraction of the cost. We may want a cultural center and a black box theater, but we must get the private sector to finance them, not the ta taxpayers. We may like the already overcapacity Taj Mahal High Schools recently constructed in this county, but what we need is to expand classroom space at a reasonable cost, even if that means building up or renovating rather than building new. If elected to county board, I will promote fiscal responsibility without sacrificing the health and welfare of our residents. I pledge to make developers pay their fair share of infrastructure costs. I also plan to fully fund libraries, schools, and programs for youth, seniors, and the disabled. To emphasize recycling and renewable energy, and hire an inspector general to audit the county's budget. You can find out more about my campaign for a greener Arlington by visiting AudreyClement.com. Vote Clement for County Board on November 5th.